Hello everyone, it is I, Mark Major, and we are here at the Action Figuratorium. And I thought I would do something just a little bit different today. We're going to be talking about something that I think is going to become collectible in the future, based upon the fact that it is something that is not collectible now, and it is Star Wars. What I'm talking about is they are closing something called the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser. However, all the special gift shop merch will eventually be available for anyone to purchase off the shop Disney store. Some of it is already hitting it now. We will uh, take a look and see what you can pick up and I'm also going to make a couple predictions so stick around. All right, let's switch over to desktop view. There we go. Oh, look at look at the production value of the show, people. All right, this is uh, the Shop Disney site, and uh, this is the page where you can see what they have available from the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser, which we're going to go through and look at that as well here because I think it's worth talking about just a little bit. It is Star Wars after all. You can see what they have for sale is 100% uh, apparel, mostly cosplay stuff, gloves and capes and this goofy headgear. Here's a kid's jumpsuit for 80 bucks. I get the feeling that they probably expected people to go to the Star Cruiser and um, realize that it was kind of a cosplay event and then go down to the um, gift shop and buy little Timmy some uh, space jumpsuit so he can play around. So this is it though. This is all they kind of got. Some t-shirts, hats, and some cloaks. A couple pairs of gloves. Not much. So uh, let's actually go to uh, this article from uh, March of 2022. So like about a year and uh, five months ago. This came out, this gives you an idea. This is all the merch that you can get at the Galactic Star Cruiser uh, gift shop. We're just gonna scroll through so you can see what is available that may eventually come to shop Disney. Uh, so we've got some uh, apparel. There's some fruity space age looking clothing. This is all really just what is 1970s um, French designer clothes. That's where George Lucas got a lot of the, uh, and his prop department got a lot of the outfits from. Um, and this is just kind of more of the same of that sort of stuff. This is what we just saw in the shop Disney. These are all, uh, look at this. this. This is crap. It's just a shirt with two pieces of fake leather. This is like some crap from the 70s. And then this, this looks like crap. That looks stupid. It looks like something grandma would wear. Yeah, how much is that? 150 bucks. No thank you, ma'am. All right, we get some kind of Jedi looking stuff here. Some kind of hoods. Some sort of space age Starline jacket for 75 bucks. No thank you. Youth's jacket. No thank you. I'm also going to say no to the mannequin. Um, you know, just having things be uh, quadruple vested is not particularly cool. Gloves, of course, headgear, dumb. Uh, captains, God, this is a terrible logo. Captains, hats, stupid. All right, we're gonna get into some shirts now. So kids shirts, 30 bucks. Look at this, 30 bucks, actually 40 bucks for this. And it's in this high-end gift shop, Galactic Star Cruiser. They're going for uh, people with money, right? People with a lot of disposable incomes. People probably have some sort of uh, uh, vanity problems and they don't even bother to iron or steam the shirts they did 40 bucks for a shirt and they don't even care how wrinkled and terrible it looks look at that it looks absolutely terrible this looks terrible this looks like some sort of uh, 40 bucks for a sweatshirt looks like fake Star Trek um, this looks terrible this looks kind of like fake Devo um, no thank you, uh, V-neck sweaters. Okay, look at this. This jewelry looks like absolute crap. It just looks like random garbage. It just looks like somebody glued a bunch of, of junk together. 
and then priced it 150 bucks for that bracelet $75 for these little earrings or whatever you've got to be so incredibly high to think that you could get any kind of money for this stuff I mean I know who you're aiming for but this is not like this is worse than grandma's junk drawer you can find all this stuff at a flea market okay so here's something when you go to the star cruiser they give you a white wristband if you want a black one they're 30 bucks and um, I don't know why why the star cruiser is closing down because this seems like an easy way to make a lot of money but uh, yeah. so here's a backpack I'm kind of a backpack person I'm kind of a bag snob I got one of those chrome messenger bags and this is a cool looking bag um, I don't know what $55 these straps are totally random and useless and you know this is just a piece of rubber that's sewn on there and this is like worth a couple bucks and this is just some weird orange printing on uh, on the backpack straps um, it's a cool looking bag I'd say it's about $20 max really and then this hat these hats are like a buck and then this little rubber um, logo is just like a buck and what are they charging for this thing $35 for a hat I don't know how these guys can be going out of business lanyards for $13 the cheapest thing in here Chotch keys and keychains look lightsaber hilts 170 bucks you know they're just in these black boxes and look at these toys okay we're finally getting to the toys people who are wondering if there would be toys there are toys let's check these out so you've got these training lightsabers they look terrible they're probably for kids to take into the lightsaber room is what i'm guessing we'll, we'll get to the lightsaber room here's a model kit for 30 bucks that look, doesn't look too bad i'd say it's more like a 15 dollars model kit uh, here's a little slightly different version of one with uh, lights and sound. 200 bucks for this figurine one. You've got to be pretty high. Uh, 15 bucks for the little die cast one. Still too much. Okay, this is kind of cool. This is the remote controlled um, droid offering. They also have these um, in their other gift shop, shop in the Disney Star Wars park area you can go to the build a droid and you can make your own little droids so and they have these kinds of robot remote control guys but this one is uh sk620 and what does that mean is is he actually in the the star cruiser itself and he, he drives around like a like a vacuum cleaner up and down the halls anyways how much for this guy 99 bucks that's 99 dollars too much people and that's the coolest looking thing um here is Okay, here's the actual action figure version of him. Uh, $15 for that. That's not unreasonable. It's really more of a $9.99 thing, but it's not too bad. That makes sense. And uh, here's the best looking toy I've seen. It's the same guy, but it's a wind up version for $10. And it's the best looking one, clearly. I would go with that. I would buy that and nothing else. Um, some weird card game where they reused uh, a coffin. Uh, shape for it and made the cards coffin shaped to make it look cool comes with some dice I don't know 30 bucks probably not probably pass probably dumb how about this thing <laughs> this whole purpose of this thing is this it's just this weird shield for 150 bucks this is all it does like once you have this it's fulfilled um, here's some kitchenware this is a bunch of stuff that they think rich people are going to want to buy they're going to want to buy uh, bottle stoppers they think rich people just you know tuitously drink wine and they're going to buy star wars tchotchke bottle stoppers um this looks like uh the mugs from the marriott over by my house this looks like hotel mugs uh this looks really cheap this looks incredibly cheap this looks like about two dollars worth of glass and really chintzy uh um, I assume that is some type of aluminum, but with some type of gold sticker over it to make it shiny. Yeah, look at that. That's uh, totally junk. Complete junk. Junk. This is all crap. This is all pins for 10 bucks. It's all useless. This logo's terrible. Gold key, terrible. Look at this. It's like some sort of Grateful Dead poster. It has the word gay on it. Uh, pens are actually expensive you can charge a lot for pens they're kind of a social status thing like a ring or something so I'm not surprised they got a pen for, for 40 bucks but still um, leather bound uh, journal for $35 that's insanity who would pay anything for that 
Uh, Christmas ornaments, of course, j pure junk. Oh, look at all this endless tchotchkes. Endless tchotchkes. Patches that nobody wants. Oh, four face, face masks. So this is if you want to do some kind of a day spa. Star Wars uh, day spa facial mask. Anyways, that's that. So, um... Um, that is the merch that will eventually, uh, as they shut this thing down, if the stuff doesn't get stolen, will probably make its way to the shop Disney, whatever they have the most of, which of course is probably going to be apparel. If they do put any of those um, $10, $15 Star Wars droids up there, I'm definitely going to pick up a couple. I think that that is going to be um, something. Actually, I think all the stuff... As terrible as it is, it's all going to become really collectible. Everything I've shown you here in this video, this is all stuff that is going to be a buy it, put it away for a long time. It's going to be worth a lot of money down the road. It's going to be worth nothing right now. Um, I did want to just see here. We've been going for about 10 minutes. I want to take about three minutes and just whip through the, the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser itself. Um, because I think, actually, to me, I think the general concept is cool, but I think that you're going to see that there's some problems with it. And uh, let's just roll through and, uh, and see the full guide. Here we go. This is also from last year. This is a companion article to that other one from WDWNT.com. Um, so it's got a cool-looking hotel room with the modern looking sort of uh, Stanley Kubrick kind of uh, futuristic bed, hotel, etc. This is kind of what all hotels should probably look like if you ask me. You should look like you're staying in a hotel in Japan. Uh, this is what I think they're trying to sell you on a concept that you go to some sort of a canteen and there's a bunch of weirdos there. Uh, there's probably a guy who is paid once an hour to stand up, slam his hands down, and say, I, I will not eat with a Wookiee. And then he storms out, and that's why we keep drama. And then he goes to some other area, hangs out, and then he storms out. Won't eat with a Wookiee. Um, Pre-purchase your Star Wars costumes. Look at that. They want you to buy all that crap I showed you. They're really expecting people to buy a lot of it. No one's buying any of that. Nobody wants to dress like an idiot. Okay, here's what the actual um, uh, hotel is. It's this, just this. It's bridge, a lounge, atrium, uh, launch pod, dock. I imagine that's maybe where you come in, maybe where you leave. This is probably a gift shop, and then there's probably just goes to your hotel room. So it looks to me, yeah, so there's like little things you can do. There's like a place to go lightsaber training. That looks dumb. Looks just like a bunch of blue light. Um, there's that white wristband I told you about. 30 bucks if you want the black one. And, uh, you know, what I'm thinking is a mistake is that they, sh they should have tried to actually make the outside of the hotel, the part that's showing, look like a ship. So it makes it feel like you're boarding a ship. And then everything about the place should have been make you think that you're in a ship. Like you should be able to look out one of the windows and see outside down towards the other part of the ship where the bridge is. And that you can see it from your window and you can then go back on the hallway, navigate way, your way down to it. And, and really immerse you rather than just like, you know, throw some video screens up on the walls and then have people in, in dumb outfits walk around shouting, I refuse to eat with a Wookiee. And look at this. This is where you eat in this, like, terrible, shitty cafeteria. This food looks terrible. These trays are just dumb on purpose. The tables are dumb on purpose just to make you think it's Star Wars or make you think it's science fiction. It's this is completely dumb. It's just a bunch of, like, alternate lighting, um, probably crap food. Uh, overpriced drinks that nobody wants, uh, just gross food to suggest it's alien. Food already looks alien, you don't need it. Here's, I like this, somebody checking out some SKB uh, or some Pelican flight cases, looking for some AV gear. Here's the captain who will come down and make some sort of grand announcement when the shuttle's taking off. And there's a toast, lightsaber training, um, a guide to 
sector set space bingo it looks terrible like they can't, ran out of ideas you pay to go to this hotel dress in star wars costumes and play bingo um there of course is a little outside area that makes you think that um transport to batu makes you think that like you went out of the spaceship it landed somewhere and you're now like set into port cool idea but also dumb uh some part of the ship that's made to look like it's you know like they got their own climate going anyways i think you guys can see that this thing is just all about trying to get you uh there's nothing to do here there's absolutely nothing to do there's trying to get you to the gift shop um as quickly as possible so i could see why this thing went out of business you know they claim it's because that they use the force awakened star wars versus the original star wars i just think that this is the kind of thing the reason why it's failing is it's the kind of thing that can't be done by a corporation it can't be done by a real sort of committee it's the kind of thing that's got to be done by a benevolent dictator one guy with a lot of money and a vision for example the guy who created house on the rock that's what this thing needs to be it needs to be a guy who creates his own star cruiser uh independent of star wars it should just work and look like a science fiction thing it should exist on its own it doesn't even have to have star wars on it if you can have star wars at the end of the day strapped to this thing that's great for you but you don't even need that you could just do a cool cosplay hotel in the style of modern day science fiction so again the toys are going to be worth some money some of the gift shop stuff is going to be worth some money if you can find that stuff put it away bank it later and uh with that I'll catch you guys uh on the next one mm -hmm.